How are we going everybody? Another week in the garden and this is our weekly update here at the garden centre in Coburg. <sighs> Front garden beds nice and warm. This is a beautiful microclimate. This is a topic today. How warm is your garden? So people are asking me all day this morning, uh, when can they plant their tomatoes, in particular the big malakas. For those who came down nice and early, they got their big malakas. For those who didn't and came in the afternoon, we're sorry folks, we have sold out for this week. Hopefully we have a few more, as you know I've got some in Lethbridge, if they're ready for next weekend, but I'll announce it closer to date. But for now, it's about when to plant your spring veggies. Look at this place here. Now this is facing north. We've got a glass backdrop here, brick wall on that side, so it's facing west. So we get a lot of radiant heat, concrete ground. Is your microclimate in your garden, whether it's the backyard, side yard, balcony, or even front yard, warm enough like this? It is chilly when I go out there in the open because I can feel it from the wind, but in this corner we're well protected. And if you've got the same protection in your garden, and you can feel that's at least four or five degrees warmer because it's radiating off the back wall, then by all means, smash out your spring variety straight away. Get involved in it. Here we've got some collies, silver beet. These are uh, beetroot, kale. We've harvested the uh, endives and chicory. Now look at this tomato. I think it's about four or five weeks ago that I planted these. Because it's nice and warm here, they're jumping out of the ground. Look at that growth that we've got on it, nice and strong. Lots of side laterals growing on. Some of you like to prune them out. Others don't. I practice both, depending on the plant, where it's positioned, how much space it has for it to grow. And the capsicums, it's way too cold to grow them. But again, this microclimate in here has made these beautiful, nice and healthy, strong, right? And is our broccoli finally, we've got some heads coming on, have a look at that. Still a little bit small, but they're coming along. Even this one is a little bit bigger. So we've got our broccoli heads coming on. We've planted, for those who haven't seen it, I've planted in our planting mix. It's a specific type of blend that we've created to suit all types of environments, in particular the raised garden beds. And you can see the plants are jumping out. We've harvested a batch of spring onions. These have already grown back, see that? Only two or three weeks ago. We've harvested another batch here, and now we're due to harvest the other two batches, as you can see, they're falling over. And we've got our tomatoes in here and some cucumbers. Now these are starting to kick on as well because the microclimate and the soil temperature is vital. And if you're gonna plant in your garden, you need to have a minimum night temperature of at least 10 to 12 degrees, consistently for at least one week, if not 10 days. And that way your soil temperature will be warm enough for you to plant. Here, it gets to that because we've got the heat, the controlled environment, and the radiating heat. And look, I found a little eggplant that's just come out of a little punnet that needs to go into a little home. And you know what? I'm not digging this garden bed over, folks. We've had some lettuce in here we've harvested, you can see, leaving the roots in there to, to fall over. And you don't have to pull out the roots. See that there? It starts to decompose. If it doesn't grow back, it'll decompose. And that's good for the microbiology in the soil. All we're doing, is opening up a hole with our dibbler. Everybody needs a dibbler. One of these. Just punch a hole in the, in the soil like that, loosen it up, drop your seedling in there, and push it back in. And I'm planting in between the previous crop of lettuce in there. That's all we need to do, folks, and put it in your diary when I just planted this one here. That's what I'm gonna do, so I don't forget next time I talk about it. Now, these are our raised beds, and we had a big flooding come down a couple of days ago, folks. It poured down tremendously. I mean, we had at least, Oh look, I'm going to take a guess at 100, 200 mil come down in an hour or so. That was ridiculous, you know. That sort of rain coming down anywhere is just totally wrong. But nevertheless, it did experience it. We did experience it. But have a look at this garden bed. It suffered nothing at all, very little, if anything at all. It's hydrated well, it's raised, and we're using our planting mix, which made the plants survive tremendously well, and they are thriving. There's absolutely nothing wrong with these plants, and we've done absolutely nothing other than Give them a water now and then if they need it. And they are thriving and they're doing tremendously well. Now folks, also at home with the same rain we had, the veggie garden didn't suffer one bit. It drained away beautifully. The only thing that flooded out was my creek and the paddocks of lawn that we have out there. So it's all about the micro life and the humus that you have in your soil rather, how rich it is, how well the bacteria is working and how well it drains away. So the more active your soil is, the more alive it is and obviously 
you know, conditioned well, the better it will drain and the better your plants will, you know, survive those climatic ridiculous changes that we have in our weather. So check out your microclimate. If it's warm enough, start planting your tomatoes. Cucumbers and that if you like. I've done it already. Even capsicums. Basil a little bit early. I might give it a go next week in this bed here. Otherwise, tune into the radio this morning if you're just watching as we've uploaded this little episode on 693 AM dial 3AW, me and Darren James talking gardening weekend and our special 70% off, up to 70% off, a huge range, almost everything online folks. And if you're in Coburg or near Coburg, come down and say hello. I'll be at the garden centre. We've got plenty of little malacca still. They're running around everywhere. Well, they're in pots here, but you can come down and grab yourself one of those and say hello to the team and myself. From Eva Silly, Maresi.